Hey guys, it's Ashley doing my first ever book haul with the most books I will probably ever haul at one time. I was at BookCon this weekend and I came home with 35 books and that does not include the 16 samplers or the audiobook or any of the free ebooks that they like email you out. This is 35 hard copy books that are just for me because I also brought like seven or eight books home for other people. And of these 35 books, I only had to pay for four of them. That's it. All of these books basically were free because BookCon is awesome. So I'm just going to jump right in here because there's a lot of books and I don't want to take up like an hour because nobody has time for that. So let's jump into the books. So this first section is all of the books that are currently available for sale. Um, in stores, online, wherever you buy books, you can currently go and buy these books for yourself now. Other half of ARCs, we'll get to those in a few minutes, but let's jump into the first one. This first one was so exciting. One of my favorite things about BookCon is just wandering around the floors and then like stumbling onto author signings. And so for this one, I was walking down one of the halls that I'd walked down like 10 times already, and I turn the corner and I see the Berenstain Bears, God bless our country, sitting on the table. I'm like, oh cool, Berenstain Bears. And then I look up and Mr. Mike Berenstain is sitting there doing signings and so I have a signed copy of the Berenstain Bears and I totally fangirled out because I was just like I love your books I grew up with them and and they got a little sister the same time I got a little sister and I was just like totally fangirled out so I have this awesome signed copy of Berenstain Bears and I met Mr. Berenstain what next up is a book called How to Be Interesting by Jessica Hagee, I think. Hagee? Hagee. I'm going to go with Hagee. Jessica Hagee, How to Be Interesting in 10 Simple Steps. This is one of the few books that I paid money for um, because I've seen it around. It sounds interesting and it's really pretty on the inside. It's got like all these little graphs and different colored pages and like doodles and things and it's just so pretty. Um, and so as I was walking by, again, one of the random tables, um, these were for sale and he was like, oh yeah, the authors are on the stage right there and they're about to be coming over for a signing if you want it to be signed. So I hung around for five minutes and got her to sign this as well. Um, and I actually already finished this one. It was really fun read and it's nothing like over the top, like, oh my gosh, I never thought of that. It was just very simple, inspirational messages of how to be your true authentic self and how to live an interesting life and it's all simple things it's just things like go exploring and share what you learn and be generous and and be brave um all things that i'm trying to do more of this year so i, I i'd recommend this i read it in like a total of maybe two hours over the course of like waiting rooms and and stoplights and things so it, it's worth it Next up uh, is another book that I've been seeing around and really wanting to buy, and as I was standing in line for, um, I don't remember which book, one of these books to be autographed, um, I saw a sign behind her that said this book was going to be there and the author was going to be there um, right after my Felicia Day autograph time. So I went back and I got You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero for free and she was signing all about how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life and who doesn't want that um so I'll, I'll let you know how it ends up being but I was pretty excited for this super duper excited about it next up um there was a booktube panel and as I was leaving the booktube panel there was this woman there with some books and like a piece of paper and she was like, excuse me, are you a booktuber? and I was like, mm, no, but I've been thinking about it she's like, oh, okay and just kind of looked at me and I go, well, I'm a blogger. And she just goes, oh, that's nice. And just kind of looks at me and I go, why do you ask? And she goes, well, do you review books on your blog? I go, yes. <laughs> she goes, well, we have this book about this woman. It's called Reconstruction, First a Body, Then a Life by Ara Lucia Ashburn. And she goes, it's about this girl who's um, in a medically induced coma and she's aware of everything that's going on, but she's also having these crazy dreams at the same time, and it's all meshing together into this weird reality. And so it's all of her experiences, and then she comes out of it and um, has to figure out how to make her life match with all of this stuff that just happened to her. And she goes on these adventures and things to find out what her new normal life is. And I'm like, that sounds really cool. 
So I got this copy from the publisher or something. She didn't really even tell me who she was, but there is a thing in here, business card for somebody and, and all of the information. So I'm going to be reading this pretty soon and putting a review up about it. Um, but it sounds really intriguing. So we'll see. Next up is a book that I have always meant to read and just never got around to. And at BookCon they had a whole big like swirly stack of them and they're so beautiful. And that is The Little Prince, and I'm going to butcher this name, by Antoine de saint Exupéry. Yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But it's called The Little Prince and this cover is like all shiny and coppery and then it's got all of like the artwork in here and it's just so beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Um, so I'm really excited to finally read this and it's, it looks like a nice easy read. So I'm going to, I'm going to get on this soon. Um, it's just beautiful. These next two books I'm so excited about. I can't wait to read them. So first up I was walking by and um, I can't, most of these books I got just by walking around you guys. If you go to BookCon, walk around and just keep walking around because things change all the time in these rows. So this one um, I was walking around and the Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy author was there doing a signing. You did have to buy the book so this is one of the books that I purchased. Um, but I'm so excited. Sam Maggs is the author and she was there doing a signing and so I've got it signed in silver. Um, fangirls forever. Oh, isn't that cute? And it's like all beautiful and colorful and they're... Of course, now that I'm trying to show you, I can't show you any of them, but there's little doodles and things all throughout it and it's just kind of about how to live life as a fangirl. I don't know if I've said it yet, but I'm really excited about this book because I am a huge fangirl and to have a guide to the galaxy sounds pretty darn awesome. So at that table, as I was purchasing that book, there was another book next to it that I was like, oh, I've been seeing this book around too and really want to buy it. And, you know, I haven't spent much of my money that I said I could um, spend, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy it, and that is The Geek's Guide to Dating. Because, let's be honest, I could probably use it. Um, so The Geek's Guide to Dating, this is by Eric Smith. Again, it's by the same company, so there's all sorts of doodles throughout it, um, and it's just look, look how beautiful it is. So I picked it up, he was not there to sign it, but then I opened it up just to flip through and was excited to see that it is actually signed. There's a little book plate in here, signed, um, and it says, good luck finding your player too. And I'm super excited to read, and that's probably a little corny and cheesy, but I don't think you guys will think so. Um, <laughs> one of the chapters is called Release the Kraken, How to Ask Somebody Out. Guys, this is the book that I need. This next one, I actually got two books by this author. So this author, random author I've never heard of, was doing a signing um, for her book, Melt. And this author is Celine Castrovilla. Um, I don't really know what this book is about. It's something about like Wizard of Oz, but modern day and dealing with abuse and, and Dunkin' Donuts and I don't even know. I don't really want to know all that much about it, but I was standing in line and then like three or four people ahead of me, she ran out of this book. So she started signing instead The Girl Next Door, again by Celine Castrovilla. So I got a copy of The Girl Next Door, but this copy of Melt was sitting right next to it. Um, and she was gonna, she went to sign it for the person ahead of me and said, oh, I forgot I already signed, started signing this to somebody, messed up their name. So, you know, I'm sorry. And he walked off and she's signing this one for me. And I said, can I actually have the melt one? I don't care if it's made out to somebody else. So she signed both of them and let me have both of them. So I'm really excited. The girl Next Door, um, I don't really know. Oh, it's about a girl whose best friend is dying from cancer. And um, they're in love or something. I, I'm not really sure. She was really sweet, um, really nice. So I'm excited to see what these all come out as. I say excited a lot. All right, I'm going to try and find a different word than excited for the rest of these books. We'll see how that happens. Next up is one that I got spinning the wheel at uh, Switch Press is booth. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, love and Profanity, which is all true stories of tales of teenage life and love. Um, they had a giant wheel. You spun the wheel and that determined your prize. I was really hoping to get the Lois Lane, Young Lois Lane book. 
I did not, but this sounds pretty good too. Just some true stories, um, and I'm sure they'll be kind of awkward and cute because they're about teenagers, so it'll be a nice, interesting read, I think. All of these books I'm planning to read and review. Um, if not on here, then on my blog. I will leave the link down below. Um, you can also find links to all of these books on that blog post that I will share below. This next book is called Life After Perfect by Nancy Nagel. Um, it looks like a sappy southern romance book, which is cool because I love sappy romance books. Um, most of the books you see behind me on this corner are actually sappy romance books. Um, but it's all about she had a perfect life, perfect marriage, and then everything collapses and she has to figure out how to live now. Um, so not exactly my usual fare, but I think it'll still be cool. She was really sweet. Her co-author was really sweet. Um, and then they had like koozies, like for canned koozies that they were giving out with their books. So cool people. Um, and it'll be fun to read her book. Next one I'm really excited about. I haven't really seen it talked about too much on booktube. Granted, I've only been in booktube for a couple months. Um, but I've seen it a lot in different bookish Instagram accounts. And so as I was walking by and saw the book and the authors sitting there doing signings, I said, you know what, I'm going to jump in. And this is the fourth book and the last book that I spent money on. And that is Branded, the first book in the Sinner series by Abby Kettner and Missy Kalicki. Yeah, I think I said that right. Kalicki? Something like that. I'm Abby and Missy wrote this book. And I've seen it a lot on Instagram. All I really know about it is that... Um, sins show up as tattoos on people's skin, which sounds a little bit like um, a Scarlet Letter sort of deal-ish. Um, that's really all I know, but it sounds really interesting and intriguing. Um, so we'll see how this is, but it's a really pretty cover. I mean, did I, did I, do, did I do it right? Am I, am I the book? This next one, um, the next three, actually, I got at the First in Line Red Carpet Author's Breakfast. Those words go in some order like that. Um, it was a really long name. We were all just calling it The Breakfast, and we all knew what we were talking about. Um, Sunday morning, I woke up really early to go stand in line for this breakfast so I could get some free books and meet the authors. And um, one of the authors that was there was James Dashner, author of the Maze Runner series. So I got this really cool collector's edition of... Um, the Maze Runner and the Scorch Trials together in a bind up. It's so pretty. It, it's just beautiful. And of course, he was there, and so I've got it. I've got it signed. Isn't that? It's signed. And that's just my little note because we were talking um, about stuff. So I actually haven't read The Maze Runner. My brother did and said it was really good, and I know it's a movie now, and um, so I'm really looking forward to reading this eventually. There are so many books. 35 books, you guys. That's a lot of books to read. It's a lot of books. The next one I got at that first in line author's breakfast was All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. And this is one of her newer books um, that I've seen people talking about and that it's just beautiful. Again, it's one of those books I don't know anything about, but I'm really excited. Most of these books, I don't know what they're about, but I just keep hearing about them. And so I'm very, very excited. Jennifer Niven again was at that breakfast and I got it sign. She told me to make it lovely. Um, and I was wearing my um, Always Keep Fighting shirt with Jared Padalecki and Jensen Ackles on it. The moose and squirrel say Always Keep Fighting. And she recognized it. And so we talked a little bit about Supernatural and um, Sam versus Dean, which was fun. It's always fun to talk fandom with, with authors. And so um, she was a really cool person, really cool down to earth. So I am looking forward very much so to reading this book. This is going to be up at the top of the list. Another book that I picked up at that author's breakfast was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, which everybody is talking about and saying it is so fantastic. And then reading the back, it happens off the coast of Massachusetts, which I live in Massachusetts. I've lived in Massachusetts my entire life. So I'm excited. It's always fun when you get to read a book in your own area. Um, and this is what I am purposely not seeking out more information for because everybody says go into it not knowing anything. So I'm really excited. It's so short, so I am looking forward to reading this soon um, and seeing what the fuss is about because, yeah, this book looks really good. Next up, I was walking by a table and I happened to see Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor sitting on the table, um, which 
everybody talks about this book and I have not read it and not picked it up. And so I got in line, you had to play this dice game, you had to roll the dice and get a certain letter which would determine which book you got and I walk up and I go, I want Daughter of Smoke and Bone, how do I get it? And the guy's like, well you have to roll an L or whatever it was. And so I go and I roll the dice and it falls off the table and he catches it and goes, oh we won't count that it fell off the table, here try again. So I go and I roll it again and it rolls, it doesn't even roll, it like zooms across the table and across the entire booth. And he's like, wow, all right. And he's like, one more turn. So I was very careful because I wanted this book. So I rolled it very carefully. And I got the wild card so I could pick which book I wanted. As soon as I saw it was wild, I went, I wanted this one. And he handed it over. And I, I don't think he wanted me or expected someone to be that excited about it. But Daughter of Smoke a Bone, everybody talks about it. Now I can figure out why. And I'm super duper excited. I'm just gonna give up trying to not say excited because all of these books I'm excited about. This next one looks ridiculous and funny and I'm just gonna show it to you. It's Galactic Hot Dogs Cosmos Wiener Getaway uh, by Max Brailler and Rachel McGuire. Um, it's a kids book. It's got a lot of cartoons and graphics to it um, and it they had a great marketing team. Can I just tell you, the marketing team for Galactic Hot Dogs was unbelievable. Because I wanted to pass their booth like eight times during the day and every single time they were doing something different. First they're giving away the book, then they're giving away bookmarks, then they're giving away um, stress relief hot dogs, and then they had guys dressed up in the Galactic Hot Dog uniforms taking pictures with you and so I get in line and take pictures with the Galactic Hot Dogs and then as I'm leaving they go, oh by the way we're gonna be giving away free hot dogs in about 10 minutes. So I go and jump all my stuff with my brother who's in a panel and come back and get in line for these hot dogs and they're giving away free hot dogs on the book con floor. Simon & Schuster, good job with the marketing. You guys were on point at book con. And I'm really excited to read this book because of how awesome they did. The last book here, um, I got at the end of BookCon, as everybody was cleaning up, it was on the, one of the tables and they were like, yeah, just take what you want. So I got Hiking Waterfalls in New England, a guide to the region's best waterfall hikes. And this is a falcon guide from uh, American Hiking Society. Like I said, I live in Massachusetts. Um, all of New England is within like three hour drive or less. Um, and I, I, I want to do more outdoorsy things this summer, so I'm really excited to go see what waterfalls I can find. The rest of these books are all um, advanced reader copies. Let's jump in here. This first one I also got at that first in line author breakfast, um, and the author was there signing the copies, and that is Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. Um, this book comes out September 1st, 2015. Um, and it starts out, the description on the back says, my disease is as rare as it is famous. Basically, I'm allergic to the world. I do not leave my house, and I have not left my house in 17 years. Um, and of course then she meets a boy somehow. Um, I don't really know how, but I know that that's what happens. Um, and so I'm really excited about this. It's going to be really interesting. Oh, and there's, there's like pictures and drawings that I didn't notice before, like, like field guide type things. Oh, this is going to be really interesting. Look at that. Like, there's just things. I'm really excited about this book. I'm extra excited now. I think I'm going to have to, like, really maybe start this one today. And then the other really cool thing I found in this book as I was looking um, was this Reward If Found card that they're putting in all the ARCs copies of this book um, where you read the book and then you write, this book is everything, everything to me because fill in the blank, you put your contact information and then you check which prize you want and you get entered to win um, either a signed first edition of the book, an illustrated print, a chat with the author, um, a library of must-have YA books, or early access to spring 2016's most anticipated books. <sighs> All of those prizes sound amazing and I could possibly win them just for reading this book and mailing back this postcard that I don't even have to put a stamp on because they include postage. I get to read a beautiful book and maybe win more beautiful books because I read it. Book con, I love you. Next up, 
I know nothing about this book or this author. It's definitely a romance novel. It is Second Chance Summer, a Cedar Ridge novel by Jill Shalvis. Um, it comes out this month, June 2015. It doesn't say when. Um, it's from Hatchet Publishing. Um, the author was there and just kind of like handing them out as people walked by. So I grabbed one. I don't know what it's about. Let's uh, Sandra Christmas Eve. If it's in Colorado, she needs a job. There's an opening at the resort. Um, the hot property in Sierra. Oh, he's a, fire, the man's a firefighter and a rescue worker and a heartbreaker. It's, it's going to be a romance novel. I, I don't know that it's going to be anything spectacular, but hey, it's summertime. We need some light reads. Next up, I don't even remember which table I picked this up on. Um... This comes out in January 2016, and it is Choose Your Own Love Story by Elise Mimoon. Adventures in dating, do-overs, and finding your happily ever after. There's 20 possible different endings. It's like one of those choose your own adventure books, but for a love story. And so you decide if you're going to make out with sexy brooding Zack, the mayor of Red Flag Island, or... Are you going to settle down with Anthony, the gentle plumber with restless leg syndrome? Yeah. Next up is The Golden Compass, the graphic novel volume one by Philip Pullman. Um, I actually haven't read The Golden Compass. I didn't see the movie. It didn't really interest me, but the book looks really, really beautiful. It's just, I haven't read too many graphic novels, um, but I want to start reading some. So I feel like this is a nice place to start. With the Golden Compass. Um, this comes out sometime soon. Oh, September 2015. September 22nd. Uh, and then Volume 2 and 3 will come out in September 2016 and September 2017. So for the next three years, you can look forward to some Golden Compass graphic novel edition. Next up, this one looks beautiful. It's Inherit the Stars by Tessa Elwood. This is on sale in December of this year. It sounds like it's going to be a fantasy book, but with some romance and politics, an interplanetary adventure, um, which sounds really, really cool. So I don't, I really like this cover. It just is intriguing and really pretty. It looks beautiful. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I got this one signed as well. This is the one. This is the one I was getting signed when I saw the sign for um, You Are Badass. It was this one. And so she signed it to me, Courage is Doing. This was the first book I got at BookCon. I am super excited to read this. She was really sweet. And this cover is beautiful. So we'll see how it is. This next one I'm not too sure about. I don't remember where I picked it up. I know I got it at one of the tables. Um, oh, Penguin Random House. It is Sorcerer to the Crown by Zen Sho. It is on sale September 1st, 2015. Um, I don't really know too much about what it is, but it sounds like it could be interesting and something that's a little bit outside of what I usually read. This next one is Finding Forever by Ken Baker. It's a Deadline Diaries exclusive. I guess Ken Baker is an e-correspondent, so it's kind of got that feel to it, like an e-Hollywood story um, kind of vibe going on. The cover is really cool. That's kind of what drew me into picking it up. Again, this goes on sale September 2015, and I will let you know how it is. Next up, this is one that I picked up on a random table at the end of the day, where people were just like, eh, we don't want these books, we're going to pile them here. Um, and this is A Mighty Purpose, How UNICEF's James P. Grant Sold the World on Saving Its Children by Adam Fifield. Fifield? I am really big into helping kids and helping the less fortunate and... Um, UNICEF has done some really, really good things. So this book goes on sale in October of this year, 2015. Um, but I'm really excited to si kind of see how UNICEF got started and how, um, like, all the behind-the-scenes stuff. I, I really enjoy that kind of thing. I've read a couple books like that on different um, organizations. So I'm really intrigued to read this one and see how UNICEF, UNICEF got its start. Um, and I like that title, A Mighty Purpose. That That's just really really intriguing for me. Next up, this book was the last book, um, the last copy of this book at the state at the table. And I was like, oh, what's this one about? And she couldn't really describe it to me except as something about fangirls and it had kind of a Ready Player One vibe to it. And so that sold me. And I go, oh, is this one free too? And she goes, actually, it's the last copy, so 
I can't give it out. And I was like, oh, it sounds really, really good. And I just kind of picked it up and was looking at it and was like, oh, are you sure? I'd rather have this one than that one. And she goes, well, it's the end of the day, so I guess I can let you take it. And so I walked out of there with The Unfortunate Decisions of Dahlia Moss by Max Wirestone. And I looked it up on um, Amazon to kind of see like more of what it's about. And it didn't really tell me anything other than for fans of New Girl, The Guild, Veronica Mars. <laughs> Was this book like written for me or like, I don't know what it's about. It doesn't really tell me what it's about. Meet Dahlia Moss, unemployed, broke, and on her last bowl of ramen. Come on now. But that's all about to change. This is a book for everyone who has a little bit of geek in them. And everyone does have a little bit of geek in them. I am super duper excited to read this book. I don't know what it's about, but it's something fangirlish. And that's all I need to know. Next up is The Beautiful Bureaucrat uh, by Helen Phillips. This is on sale not too far, August 2015. Um, it doesn't really tell you anything on the back either other than a young wife's new job in an enigmatic organization pits her against the unfeeling machinations of the universe. And it looks really interesting. Uh, when I was flipping through it at the con to see kind of what it was about, I opened up to a random page and the chapter started with and she woke up pregnant. Okay. I'm intrigued. I want to know what leads up to that. That's an intriguing chapter opening. Um, and, and this cover doesn't tell me anything. There's a hand holding, I think that's a pomegranate, with a bee. That can't be a bee because there's no wings. Some bug. There's a bug on it. I <laughs> I don't know, but it makes me want to read this book and find out what's going on. This is another book that I picked up at that um, First in Line Breakfast, and I'm pretty excited about this one. It's Another Day by David Levithan, um, who is the author of Every Day, which a bunch of people have been talking about. It's been getting pretty great reviews. Um, and this, they're calling a companion novel. It doesn't tell it exactly. It's not a retelling. It's a companion. I have not read Every Day. But according to the little note from the author in the front of the book, he had like people read it who had just finished every day, who had read it before, and who had never read it. And everybody was able to understand and relate to this book and enjoy this book. So that makes me pretty happy that I don't have to go out and buy a book before I can start this one. Because I had to do that with this next book. And it is on sale August 25th, 2015. So if you're a fan of David Love, then you don't have to wait too long. Um, I love books. This next one, The Keeper by David Baldacci. Um, this one is for sale September 8th, 2015. Um, Freedom Begins with Survival is the tagline for this. It doesn't tell you what it's about, except that this is the second book in the series. <sighs> Why do they do that to me? Although I have to say, for coming home with 35 books, only one of them is the second in the series that's not too bad. So good job for the most part publishers for putting out the first books in series or just standalones because you know I couldn't just like jump into this because it's the second book in the series you don't you don't do that. You don't do that. So I went online and I found Amazon was selling the first book the hardcover version the finisher by David Baldacci. This is the first book in the Vega Jane series, and they were selling the hardcover for $2.50. And with Amazon Prime, shipping was free. So, I think it seems like a fantasy um, series about Vega Jane has never left the village of Wormwood, but it's not unusual because nobody has ever left the village of Wormwood. At least not until Quentin Hermes vanishes into the unknown. Uh, so I don't know, it sounds really interesting. I'm excited to read it and see what it's all about. Oh, we're down to the final two books. This next one I'm pretty stoked about actually. It's called Steve Jobs Insanely Great. It is a graphic biography by Jesse Hartland. Um, this goes on sale in July, July 21st of 2015. Um, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a graphic biography of Steve Jobs' life. And it looks really cool. And the cover 
you probably can't see it on the camera, but it's got like these embossed little pictures and words and things on the front and on the back, and it's beautiful. Like, like this is a quality arc right here. It, it's, it's so pretty. So this last book, I am really, really excited about. I know nothing about this book. I refuse to go look up anything because it looks like it's going to be just an adventure to get through it. Um, I picked it up at that first in line author breakfast again, and that is Illumine. The Illumine Files, book one by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And it says here, first survive, then tell the truth. And this goes on sale um, October 20th, 2015. Marie Lou is blurbing this book. Um, Lainey Taylor blurbed this book. And then you take off the dust jacket because we all want to see the naked books. What is happening here? Things are crossed out. There's tons of words. Look at the spot. Like, it's just a beautiful book. And then you go on and you open it up. And it's all told. There's all different things happening in this book. Like, every page looks different than the pages before it. I have no idea what's going on in this book. I don't know what it's about. I don't, I know nothing, but I am super duper excited to read this book and figure out what is happening because I just, I, I just don't know. It's so pretty and I hope, I hope the writing lives up to it, but I'm, I'm hopeful because Amy Kaufman wrote or co-wrote, um, these broken stars, which was really intriguing and a really fun read and so I'm excited to read this one. So that is all of the books that I got this weekend. Um, that's a lot of books. 35 books taken home with me. I should probably do the booktubish thing and try to hold them all but I feel like I'm gonna kill myself. But I'm gonna try anyways. Let's... things we do for books. Oh, okay. I got them all. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, that's all I'm going to do then. I'm Ashley. This has been my very first book haul from BookCon 2015 with my 35 free books. No, 31 free books and 4 books that I paid for. 35 books total that I came home from BookCon with. I'm Ashley. Have a good week.